So hi everyone, today we have a special guest on our channel. We have Aditya with us. So Aditya, would you like to introduce yourself once? Yes. Uh, hello everyone. Hello Ashish. Thanks for having me here. I am Aditya Santosiris from SSGMC Shigao. I am currently in my final year CSE undergraduate student. Basically, I have experience in software development, machine learning. I am also a SHO 2023 uh, grand finale participant and uh, recently I got a golden opportunity to work as an intern at uh, NRSC Sharnagar Premier Center of ISRO. Mm -hmm. Right, right, right. So like you mentioned, he has recently, you know, cracked internship at ISRO, which is a dream of many, many students, right? So we'll be getting to know the entire journey to cracking ISRO, the interview experience, the process and his preparation as well. So Aditya, can you start us off with your interview experience of ISRO? Like basically, what was the process like? How did you get the opportunity? Okay, so basically, uh, we are having our exams at fifth semester. Uh, at that time, I am trying for multiple internship, but uh, not getting anywhere. So I thought, let us try for a government one which having uh, significant importance. So in November, actually, I have applied via their official website. Uh, means NRSC have a website in which uh, they have written all the instructions, means which documents are required what are the details to be submitted and on which mail id we need to submit our application so by this way i have submitted the application in this process i have needed the top three documents means the lor means letter of recommendation from the head of the institute after that i need my resume and after that i need 10th 12th and all the semester's mark sheet which are done till now means i was in fifth semester so result, results were not uh, declared. That's why the four semesters mark sheet I have attached. Got it, got it. So the documents required were the LOR, your resume, and the mark sheets of 10, 12th, and up to the fourth semester, right? Yes. All right. So speaking about the mark sheet, was there any cutoff? You need to have this exact marks to uh, be... Yes, basically, in uh, your graduation year, means uh, while you are doing your graduation from any uh, UGC recognized college, there should be minimum 60% score or a minimum 6.32 CGP. Above that, you are eligible for this internship and uh, your CV and resume matters more. Mm -hmm. Got it, got it. So can you tell us about your resume? Like what do you think was there that you know made you get shortlisted? Yes, uh, actually my CGP was not that much good. It was approximately 7.5 nearly. But uh, I, I was shortlisted due to my resume mainly because I have done much better projects uh, than what we can say. Many people do rapper like projects, uh, but I have tried many things from scratch. Uh, just like satellite image classification, I have used their multiple layer classification. Just like uh, I have implemented CNN, but not just uh, pre trained CNN. I have uh, designed my separate 10 layers, 10 layers in that CNN. Uh, like that things. So that was the project that you had in your resume, satellite image classification and the uh, other based on CNN that you had. And made, right? Other projects like the time series forecasting projects huh. uh, for uh, stock price prediction and uh, another basic uh, mobile app development projects. Hmm, nice, nice, nice. All right. So after you got shortlisted, were there any interviews after that or how did it go after that? Uh, yes, basically. Uh, there is an interview, but uh, that is not like a formal interview, it is a telephonic interview type thing. Means uh, I have applied in November 2024. Then uh, in December 2024, I have taken a follow up by uh, call by uh, that office uh, department office number. When I called that department office, uh, they received the call. There is a scientist in the student project interface division. They received your call. Uh, after receiving your call, uh, I told that I want to take a follow-up, so they asked for my application mail ID. I told them the mail ID, they found my mail, they saw my resume, and uh, immediately they asked uh, some questions, means it was follow-up call was converted into the short interview. Uh, uh, like that means they asked some questions on my resume, mm -hmm. some questions on the projects uh, that are in the resume. And uh, after that, finally, they asked, uh, why did you want to join ISRO as an intern? Then I told that uh, I like to contribute in the space, in India space sector, etc. And uh, 
then after some time after ending the call i received the approval letter mm-hmm. got it got it and that was a trade right after that you had gotten inducted into the project that you were a yes uh, no that was not it actually after receiving the approval letter you need to send a confirmation mail within 7 days with some documents in bona fide and uh, after that we need to mention their uh, starting date and end date that uh, dates we need to send as a confirmation mails Mm-hmm. Understood, understood. All right. <clears throat> okay. And uh, what was your overall experience of the internship? You know that now you have completed. So, what was your overall experience? If you can brief us a bit about that. So the overall experience is like uh, it was my first experience, mm-hmm. but uh, it was one of the best experience. Uh, means we can say I have much. Uh, ex- I will have much experiences in the future, mm-hmm. but I will say it was the best experience because uh, I can. tell you about my day one uh, on day one i go to everything that security checks etc leaving my laptops in the lockers etc mm-hmm. i go at day one uh, after all of relocating my project mm-hmm. i go into the uh, my mentor's cabin mm-hmm. one thing they ask me i never expects what uh, your boss ask you on day one ki what are you I mean is what you have worked on previously like that things mm-hmm. but first thing my is me what do you want Tea or coffee? <laughs> nice. That that means it was nearly a tea break there, ten thirty a.m. <laughs> yeah. So he asked about it. After that, take tea. We go to uh, means go outside of cabin. We are just a room and then discussing things about my previous experiences. Okay. So after that, they allotted me uh, different projects and different tasks. Means uh, they want to explore. Means what things I like or what things can I work. So much learning things, web development things like. Uh, and they asked which projects are you want to work because they uh, uh, they have two projects at that time. So I told that I want to work in machine learning or GNN. So I was allotted the ML project, and uh, from the next day I had, uh, started learning, exploring things, and uh, started working on the project. So now you know, like you said, <clears throat> that you called, <clears throat> and you know, like you called this a golden opportunity. I really believe if someone is in college right now and they want to work on some trendy technologies, getting a ISO internship is pretty good. Not only for your learning, but you also get that tag of ISO, right? That will help you in your further career as well. If you ever want to go in that direction of research and all, I'm definitely sure that this ISO internship will help a lot, right? Yes. All Actually, right. it was for me like a dream come true. Hmm. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And you know, like speaking a bit more on that, there are many, many students right now who are also in you know second year, third year, even first year who want to crack an internship at ISRO. So, according to you, what is a sort of a roadmap or a way that you know they can also get an internship at ISRO like you were able to? Okay. So, first tip will be like uh, uh, whenever we are building any project, na, uh, we mostly use uh, many APIs. so try to uh, not completely avoid but try to implement your own thing or your own research also uh, means uh, when you are using any pre built library or a pre built model or pre trained model uh, try to implement your features also or uh, means how i can explain just take that cnn example uh, that cnn was uh, pre built but pre trained but uh, i have trained it by customizing its layers i have added 10 uh, different layers for uh, that specific uh, geotif images uh, image processing augmentation etc like that things i have added uh, extra things for processing and uh, more clarification of the image and another thing is like that means uh, focus on building projects uh, your cgp should be good if you want to aim for any government research cgp also matters yes uh, because i have tried for uh, two centers actually firstly i have applied for a bangalore center that is east track uh, but i was uh, not selected there due to my cgp and after that uh, i have applied to nrsc uh, i am selected here because of Projects and CGPA books. Mm-hmm. Got it, got it. 
<coughs> okay okay and uh, you know just to uh, focus on the uh, application part you know can you tell us a bit more about the application ki how someone can apply for the you know uh, the interviewer apply for the position okay uh, so first of all you need to go to uh, isro official website there you need a student section you will see a student section uh, then you will see a student trainings and project department in uh, that department uh, you can see all the centers listed uh, they listed all the urls of the all the center. sorry it means they listed all the urls for the process of each and every individual center means uh, for some centers like uh, nrsc where i carried out my internship uh, they have their openings throughout the year but for some uh, centers they are open at a certain in certain months only in that uh, website it is mentioned and uh, which are documents we are required it is also mentioned in the website hmm. all right got it got it so is there any uh like time frame during which they hire or is it like all around that you can apply for nrsc where i carried out the internship they hired all 12 months okay that's amazing you know so that's a great opportunity for anyone watching this video you can just you know learn from what aditya has told and basically apply and given that you have lor and all the documents and the good projects definitely you have a good chance of getting shortlisted right all right <clears throat> okay so i guess that we have covered pretty much everything about how to crack an isro internship you know something similar so thanks a lot aditya for coming on my channel and if anyone still have any doubt or you want to reach out to aditya i'll give his linkedin in the description you guys can connect with him from there and follow him from there as well so yeah thanks a lot man for coming uh, thanks ashish for uh, having me here thank you so much